Hey guys, so today I'm six weeks and three days pregnant. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it, but that's what it says. Six weeks and three days pregnant. Um, let me see if I can get a picture of what the baby looks like. That's what my little butt, my little one looks like. Um, so yesterday, okay, and this week's symptoms... I wrote it down. All right, I have terrible gas. I know that's really embarrassing, but I have never, like, pooted ever so much in my entire life. Um, I'm bloated. It's definitely, I'm definitely, like, <sighs> bloated. I feel chunky, and then I realize it's all starting to get water. It's all fluid retention from me drinking so much water. Um, the only pop I drink is Verner's. And it's for my, like, morning sickness or whenever I get sick or something that helps settle my stomach. That's the only time I drink pop. I don't drink anything else but water now. Um, my boobs, I don't know if you guys can see that. These little humps. Those are my boobs. <laughs> that doesn't ever happen. My boobs have never been much, really. I've, if anybody knows me, they know that I have the smallest boobs ever. Well, these babies are popping out. Um... I'm nauseous. That's always just, just, I get nauseous just really randomly, um, any time of the day. Uh, I'm hungry. I, I just got off of work at 8, or I just got home at 8, and before the guys were eating, I probably ate around 6, 4 pieces of toast, and I was full, and here two hours later, my stomach is full-blown growling again. And I'm not a person that eats this much ever. So I was like, yeah, this is ridiculous how much I'm eating. It is really crazy how much I'm eating. I usually eat like two meals a day and now I'm eating like, <laughs> like I'm snacking all day long and I'm just eating constantly. And I'm like, dude, this is crazy. But, um, and I also told my parents, um, they weren't, up. they were upset, but they know that I'm an adult now, and I need to take care of my child, and they said, as long as you take care of your gr our grandbaby, be a good mom, make sure the baby's healthy, make sure you're healthy, make sure you're taking care of it in the month of May, that you don't have insurance, and I'll talk about that more later. Okay, so yesterday, we went to my noon appointment um, at the women's clinic, it's a Christian women's clinic, which is really nice, it was a really nice, um, like, building, it was huge. It, that thing was massive. Is that hair on my armpit? Oops, wrong armpit. But, um, so we went there and I set up, you know, a pregnancy test there. We talked about me some and then, um, verification. I am pregnant. I got this sheet. So, I am pregnant. Um... My due date is 12-10, and we'll probably get it better once I do start doing my ultrasounds and blood tests and stuff. And so, that was that, and she talked to us about it, and she gave us, like, a little, a little gift basket for new mommies. And one of the, like, I'm not going to show the best present. Um, one of the things that we got was obviously the verification. I got... Um, tips for a healthy pregnancy, and it's just got stuff in there to, like, prenatal care and all that stuff, and then on the back there's signs what to look for during pregnancy, and I'm starting to have some back pain, but I think it's just because I was, like, laying down like this, like, crouched, and so now my back hurts. Um, I don't think it has anything to do with me being pregnant, at least I hope not, because it's on a sign of here, um, and it's not even bad, like, bad, it's just, it's normal back pain that I felt before I was even pregnant, um, and one of my symptoms also that I was talking about, the metallic taste in my mouth is gone, um, it comes here and there, but very slightly, um, 
so that's kind of good. I, I don't like tasting metal in my mouth. Um, this was the ultrasound that I'm going to be setting up. It's not diagnostic. It's not to se tell the sex. It's just so me and Dan can see the baby and hear the heartbeat. Um, and that's what this was. So that was kind of cool that we'll get to see the baby and stuff. Um, and then also she gave me a little book, the first nine months. So that was kind of cool. And she opened up to the page of where my little baby was. Oh. I am right there. Just six, ooh, just six weeks. Right there. So, um, that's exciting to have this. So it'll be definitely good. Um, and we also, we're signed up for parenting classes. So those are the classes that we will be going to. Expectant mothers. And the next one we go to is Baby Care Basics. April 25th. Or the 26th. It's Wednesday and Thursday and you go to either one. And then they have formula feeding your baby, breastfeeding your baby, which I'm breastfeeding. All that matters and more, but that's only mommy's. Birth to conception, taking care of mom, and baby's first month. Um, and then we're probably going to go to the parenting classes as well. Cooking on a budget and stuff. So, that's kind of exciting. And also on the back, um, they have what's Crib Club coupons. And for every doctor's visit, every time I go to a class, I get a coupon. So, this is money to them. Every time I go to a doctor, the doctor signs this. Every time I get a checkup, every time I get a prenatal visit, anytime a doctor signs this, it's a coupon. And these... Um, add up to these and each coupon gets something um one coupon per visit is for the women's ultrasound regular scheduled prenatal visits um dental child physician basically all that stuff two coupons are parenting classes attendance for me and the other person or if it's just one person it would be just me Three cap bonds or um, I haven't really looked at this, but it's basically I can save up to fifteen coupons and I can get a new crib and matches for the baby just paying these. I don't even have to get a new one. I mean, one one with my money. They'll give me a brand new one with this. This is money to them. I do my prenatal I do my prenatal visits through them through a company through them with them I mean and so and they have a newborn store and it's all new clothes they have an entire wall of baby diapers um they have gender neutral clothes they have diaper bags they have white they have all these cool stuff and that's how I get them if I have four coupons I can get a onesie for the baby if I have five coupons I can get a diaper a onesie for the baby or two diapers I don't know how the diapers work um, but I can get clothes from the baby that are that are new just by using this stuff and I don't even have to pay for it um so I think that'll be really cool and then they just gave us some more just information um, living together sorry birth control is it safe the community resources which is what I'm using to get the prenatal care because of my insurance, just for one month, that one month is going to be so developmental growing for the baby. The baby's going to be crazy growing. Um, and then healthy marriages, because they want us, they support marriage. Um, they want families to be together. So they, of course, want me and Dan to think about getting married, and they're not forcing anything, but I, that's a different subject. That's for me and Dan to discuss. Um, and then the last gift, which was probably the sweetest gift anybody, um, for, like, in that clinic could have done. They do it for every new mom, but, um, we got baby socks. <laughs> 
they're just little aliens. They have little aliens on them. Um, so they are technically our very first baby item for this little one. Um, when she handed me these, I seriously just got, like, the biggest smile. I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> my first baby item. So this is definitely going to be a keeper, um, and I'm sure I'll buy more clothes with my crib coupons. Um, so that was how my first clinical visit was. Um, other than that, that's pretty much what's going on right now. Um, I'm going to do weekly videos, of obviously, and I don't really know if I want to show my belly, but I guess we will. I don't know if I'm going to put these videos on Facebook, because Dan doesn't want to put them on Facebook. Sorry, I just burped. Oh. But let's see here, if we can. So this is with my shirt on. These are Michigan yoga pants, so I got these from Michigan. They have Michigan on the butt. Um, yep, these are with the pants on. Or with the shirt on, I mean. And then these are with the... And see, I mean, I don't know if you can see that, but that right there... This little bump right here is all water weight. Bloated, like, I'm bloated. I'm not, like, this big. This is all water. This little pouch right here is just, <laughs> it's just pure water. Um, and then this is where the baby is, probably down here. But this is my six-week belly. Um, I'm sure that once I pee, it'll probably go down. But right now, this is the little pouch that I got going on just from water, um, the front of me, so yeah, so alright guys, I guess I'll see you guys later, sorry about my boobs, I'll see you guys later, and I'll see you next week for week seven, bye.